hate Bart. But my bad. And I thought today I'd do a 50 facts about me video because something to help you guys get to know me a little bit better and I just wanted to put something up that's a little more personal. So I'm going to be uploading videos every week, I hope once a week at first and next week I'm thinking about doing an apartment tour so give me a thumbs up below if that's something that you'd want to see. Alright so I've got these 50 facts down on my phone here. And also, leave me a comment with two facts about yourself because I'd love to get to know you guys a little bit better as well. So here we go. I hate when people always answer good to how are you. I'm a little too honest with this one. If I'm having a bad day, I'm just going to say bad and people never, never, ever know how to react to that, which I don't know, I find it a little bit funny. It's a bit amusing. My actual day job is working part time for an insurance company. So I spend most of my time on the phones, which kind of kills my throat a little bit. And then the other half of my time, I'm doing coaching activities, teaching people how to sell better. I hate soggy food. Just, Almost every single day, I will notice a time at 12.34, so one, two, three, four. I can't sleep with a fan or an air conditioner on. I don't know why, I just really don't like it. When I was a kid, I used to have a pet chicken and I taught it how to sit on my shoulder like a parrot. I have a younger brother and a younger sister. When I was a kid I used to have asthma and whenever I'm in a cold place it comes back. My birthday is the 12th of December, so 12-12, which is the same as my boyfriend's. I love sleeping on planes. I snore. I have never seen snow in my life. I'm allergic to bees, which sucks because I kind of want to pat them. When I was in Tasmania with my friend Sophie, I saw bumblebees for the first time ever in my life. They are so fluffy and cute. Oh my god. The only language I speak is English and I've always wanted to learn another language and I'll get started and start learning parts of it and then I always just lose interest because I have no one to practice with and I don't know whether it's because I want to practice or whether I want to be competitive and learn it quicker. I'm a really fast walker. I'm incredibly shy. When I first meet people, I'm really, really quiet. And I know a lot of the time people think that's me being rude, but I just don't know what to say and I get really nervous. I used to be really, really scared of cockroaches and now I don't get scared by them anymore. Every time I just see one, I get really angry. I can crack the bones in my knuckles, my neck and my hips. I will not eat egg yolk if it's cooked all the way through. It has to be runny. I can't dance, like, at all, not one bit. A few people don't know this one. I actually do photography and I've been working since 2009 as a photographer as well. I used to do it full time, but then I lost interest in it and now I've started building my portfolio back up again. I hate Brussels sprouts. If I'm at home, I don't really listen to music at all. I like it to be really, really quiet. For some reason, out of all the pot plants I have, the one that always dies is basil. I can't grow basil. I used to be able to say the alphabet really fast backwards. I don't know if I still can. Um, let me try. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H D F E D C B A. So I'm studying two degrees, psychology and nutrition. I was scared of the dark until last year and now I'm just way too lazy. I hate when people ask what my tattoos mean because I have a lot of just, you know, really little ones, little symbols and things like that. So normally if people ask me what they mean, I'll just tell them nothing. I love reading, but I never really have time to read anymore. Ice cream always makes me feel sick, but I will take that risk if it is hazelnut flavored. This is probably going to sound a little bit weird, but when I was a kid, I used to favor the right side of my body. So if I was doing any task, I'd always do my right first because I liked it better. So I'd tie up my right shoe first, I'd paint my right fingernails first, all that kind of thing. Since I started studying psychology, I really wish people would just tell the truth because their facial expressions say what their words don't. I perhaps maybe like all the coat hangers in our closet to be spaced exactly one finger width apart. I want to own as little as possible. I 
don't like buying too many things. I don't think it's sustainable for people to buy so much and own so many things. Like, what's the point? What are you going to do with like 50 t-shirts? I own 12 pairs of shoes and I think that's too many. When I'm happy, I skip. So I'll skip around the hallway, skip around at work. I look really silly. I really don't like wearing colored clothing. I Oh, it makes me really uncomfortable. It makes me feel like people are looking at me and I don't like that. And so I've been trying to cut out colour since 2010. So I haven't actually worn any coloured clothing at all since 2013. And before that it was just a work uniform that had like a checkered coloured shirt that I had to wear. Related to that, I've noticed that the longer I hang out with people, the less colour they wear. When I was growing up, we didn't really have much money lying around so that sort of transferred into my adult life and now I'm really really strict with my money. I've touched a manta ray. I steal my boyfriend's socks because I can never find my own and I always forget to buy them. Oops. I've never broken a bone. I vowed to never wear horizontal stripes. I have a really bad habit of getting obsessed with one song and I will listen to it for like a month straight on repeat. I don't really wear jewellery and the only piece of jewellery I own at the moment is a charm bracelet that my mum gave to me. I still get scared of going to the gym on my own, I actually prefer it if Bo comes with me. I don't know why, I just... shyness thing again I guess. I wish I was funny, but in our relationship, Bo is the funny one. I'm the serious, logical one who's good at tax and insurance. I don't drink coffee. I don't think your body needs it. I cannot and I have never been able to touch my toes. I have a really bad habit of either breaking headphones, like one headphone will stop working, or I lose the little squishy bit off the end of it. 